Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Aimstone channel. As always, let's go ahead and start this video with Bitcoin market. As of the time of this recording, BTC is wiggling slightly about $29,300. Keep in mind guys, the price may vary by the time you are watching this video. Anyway, from technical standpoint, now it looks like BTC is forming this long lasting following wedge that goes all the way back since mid June. Yes, it's quite long lasting falling wedge and usually falling wedge breaks out higher. So we will find out shortly what will happen with these technicals. Additionally, we can see that Bitcoin on this 8 hourly chart is about 100 days simple moving average that is in this green color as well as 200 days moving average that is in this red color. So we will indeed find out very shortly if this moving average is indeed sustainable or not. Bitcoin fear grid index today we are at 50, we are neutral, but we are slightly lower, we were back yesterday at 54, and we are slightly higher, we were back last week at 49. Yes, in my opinion, it looks like market optimism is kind of stagnant, people kind of got bored because BTC continues to consolidate sideways. We have not seen like $31,000 for a long period of time. But do not be discouraged, this is actually a great time to stack more BTC if you haven't already. Okay, moving on, let's zoom out a bit and look at this daily Bitcoin chart. We can notice that Bitcoin is supported by this positive momentum line. And this positive momentum line has four distinct support points. The first support point took place in the beginning of 2023 and this is when SVB Bank collapsed. When SVB banks went under, BTC literally skyrocketed from like $16,000 all the way about $20,000. And then the second support point, this is when signature banks collapsed. And BTC literally like bounced back from $19,000 all the way about $29,000. And the third support point, this is when BlackRock applied for Bitcoin spot ETF. And BTC literally bounced back from $25,000 about $31,000. And now we are slightly about $29,000. Now the big question is, will BTC bounce back from this support line or will it continue to consolidate sideways? Well, if we will have some maybe like decent catalyst, I'm pretty sure BTC will bounce back from this support line just like it has been bouncing back throughout the history. Okay, moving on, look at this. Bitcoin Google trend. This is actually another representation of Bitcoin market sentiment. And right now, Bitcoin Google trend in the United States is currently at 14. Last time, we have been at 14 in late 2020. So technically, this Bitcoin market sentiment makes new two years and nine months low. Two years and nine months low. People literally are not interested in Bitcoin when it comes to Google searching. But let's not forget that the Bitcoin Google trend is actually also forming this falling wedge, which could be quite bullish from technical standpoint. I am pretty sure it's just a matter of time when this Bitcoin Google trend will literally skyrocket. In fact, we might see something similar where it was back in late 2020 and early 2021. Bitcoin Google search literally skyrocketed from like single digit all the way to 100. Yes, it will happen. It's just a matter of time. Okay, look at this. Just in, pro Bitcoin president candidate won a primaries in Argentina. Of course, this is fantastic news for Argentinian people. Maybe now Argentina will adopt Bitcoin standard just like El Salvador did a few years ago. If that will happen, of course, it will be hugely beneficial for Argentinian people because, as you know, they are suffering from high inflation as well as hyperinflation. Bitcoin solves that problem. Justin Son says he is a big advocate for Bitcoin and currently holds more than 100,000 BTC. 100,000 BTC, that's a huge amount of money. At this current price, that would be slightly under $3 billion. So technically, Justin Sun is way richer than Michael Saylor. As you know that Michael Saylor personally owns more than 17,000 BTC, and yet MicroStrategy owns more than 152,000 BTC. Yes, Justin Sun is doing just fine. Okay, look at this. SEC delays decision on Bitcoin TR from Cathie Woods, ARK Invest. Well, we were expecting that. 
The SEC has delayed decision on ARK21 shares Bitcoin TF, the latest roadback in years long fight to trade crypto asset directly on traditional US financial exchanges. The deadline for SEC to make some sort of decision on the fund was August 13, which was yesterday. The regulator said in the filing Friday that it's seeking public comment on one of the amendments in the application for the exchange traded fund. Effectively, pushing out the date of the decision is needed for approval. The process may now stretch into 2024. I believe January 2024 is the last date whether SEC wants to approve or disapprove 21 shares Bitcoin spot ETF application. Okay, look at this, John Reed Stark, which basically a former SEC attorney, he gives his own opinion whether SEC will approve Bitcoin spot ETF or not. People often ask me for my opinion on whether the SEC will approve any of the recent spat of the Bitcoin spot ETF applications, which is interesting and important question. My take is that current SEC will not approve Bitcoin spot ETF application for the range of compelling reasons, which are independent and objective experts at the better markets presented brilliantly. And these are the reasons that he is talking about. Reason number one, despite Bitcoin market have history of artificial inflated trading volume due to the ramp on manipulation and wash trading. Yes, this is true that a lot of cryptocurrency exchanges are actually showing false Bitcoin trading volume, but I do not think this is the reason to deny Bitcoin spot ETF. Reason number two, Bitcoin trades are highly concentrated. Well, I don't know about that. And reason number three, rely on the select group of individuals and entities to maintain Bitcoin's network. And this is totally false. Let's not forget that Bitcoin network is being maintained by Bitcoin miners as well as Bitcoin node validators. And Bitcoin mining is distributed throughout the world. As you know that United States is by far the biggest Bitcoin miner. Currently, it consumes more than 35% of Bitcoin global mining capacity. And then we have Kazakhstan 18%, Russia 11%, Canada 9%, Ireland, Malaysia, Germany, Iran and so on and so forth. So as we can see that Bitcoin miners are distributed around the world. Another big point I wanted to make is to focus on Bitcoin node validators. Bitcoin node validators are more important than Bitcoin miners. You can think of the Bitcoin miners as a puzzle solvers and Bitcoin node validators as a puzzle checkers. And anyone can become a Bitcoin validator. You just need to run your own node. So yes, I do disagree with the last reason that select group of individuals maintain Bitcoin's network. Okay, moving on. Maybe Gary Gensler will not be the one who will approve Bitcoin spot ETF, but I'm sure Hester Pierce could be the one. SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce is being considered to replace Gary Gensler as the head of regulatory agency. We know that Hester Pierce likes Bitcoin. I'm pretty sure if she would become a head of SEC, we will get Bitcoin spot ETF in no time. Okay, now let's take a look at some interesting Bitcoin charts. This first chart represents number of addresses with more than 1000 BTC. And as we can see, these huge whales literally have been accumulating Bitcoin since the beginning of August. And now number of addresses with more than 1000 BTC is slightly more than 2000 addresses, which is not that much. But 1000 BTC at this current price would be slightly under $30 million. So these people definitely know what they're doing. So if you do not know what they're doing, maybe follow whales. Okay, moving on. The following chart represents total supply held by the long term hodlers. And the total supply held by the long term hodlers is currently about to reach 15 million BTC. It means there are 15 million BTC are currently belong to illiquid supply. And the remaining 4 million BTC are currently belong to liquid supply. These are 4 million BTC are being traded in cryptocurrency exchanges and basically being rehypothecated by traders. Okay, look at this. This is actually quite cool chart. On the top we have Bitcoin realized price that's currently slightly over $20,000 and on the bottom we have the ratio of the realized price. And look, every time this ratio dips below this line that actually represents the Bitcoin bottom is not so far away. And now this ratio it bounced back from this level, which is actually represents reaccumulation phase. 
In fact, this is where we were eight months before the second Bitcoin halving, eight months before the third Bitcoin halving, and so far we are eight months away before the fourth Bitcoin halving. So yes, guys, this is a perfect time to stack more sets. Okay, look at this. Plan B actually makes a prediction, one of many Bitcoin scenarios. Look at this. According to his model, he believes the BTC may look like this after the next Bitcoin having that will take place in 2024. So he believes by the date of the 2024 BTC can be near its all time high. And then sometimes after 2024, maybe by the end of the year, BTC may reach around 400 to 500,000 per coin. Look, I think four hundred to five hundred thousand dollars is a bit optimistic on my opinion, but I hope I will be wrong. So let's see if this actually will not happen, then maybe this could be the last nail on the coffin for Bitcoin stock to flow model. Okay, now let's take a look at this quick video where Mark Yusko actually explains his opinion regarding Bitcoin spot ETF, and he will also give his Bitcoin price prediction by summer of twenty twenty four. Let's take a look. How likely is it that we're going to get approval with this deadline, especially considering that we know the SEC can delay and push it out by about 240 days? So what are your expectations here? Yeah, look, no, nothing against Kathy. Uh, I, I think she's built a great business and I, I think uh, she has good insight that there probably will be multiple approvals. But I'm going to stand by my statement that uh, BlackRock will be first. So if they... Uh, stand by they, meaning the SEC, stand by their deadline, uh, I think they will reject uh, the ARC 21 shares. And full disclosure, we are investors in, in Amun and 21 shares, so we'd be happy for them to, to get approval. Um, but I, I, I don't see it happening. I really do believe BlackRock will be first. Um, and therefore, there are two, I think, ahead of BlackRock that they either need to push so extend and pretend, shall we say, or uh, just reject, make them refile and go to the back of the line so BlackRock can be first. But let's talk about this parabolic price forecast, keeping in mind we've also got the halving happening in April of 2024. So if we see a spot Bitcoin ETF being approved right before the halving or even right after the halving, what does that mean for Mark Yusko's uh, Bitcoin forecast for, say, June of 2024? I'm okay with, with numbers because I, I have a logic for it. It doesn't mean I'm right, but I have, I have a logic for, for where I think the price is going to go and why I think it's going to go there. Uh, and I certainly think that the spot ETF is, is going to impact this. But the primary reason for the movement in the price is the halving cycle. Which so is the halving April, cycle yeah. is really one of the most genius ideas that I've seen maybe in my, my whole career. And that's a big statement, but it really is. And what do I mean by that? I mean, markets are, are not prone to movement, right? They only move if there's excess demand or excess supply. Now, there's never excess buyers or excess sellers because for every buyer, there's a seller. For every seller, there's a buyer. But there can be more people with a proclivity to buy or proclivity to sell. So I can look at what the fair value is of Bitcoin using a Metcalf's law model. And Tim Peterson has the best one, and I just use his. And it would have told me that in 2017, the fair value was $10,000. So when it hit $20,000, it was destined to go down. And it did, all the way to $3,000, because people got overly pessimistic. And then it rallied, and I could see that the fair value uh, in... Uh, 2020 was thirty thousand dollars, but we went to sixty nine thousand dollars, so it was going to go down. So I believe fair value today is fifty five k, using that Metcalf's law model. I believe that every having ten x is the total value of the network, and that's just because of the number of people and the way Metcalf's law works, and there's an exponential growth factor. And so we started with a thousand, then we went to ten thousand, then we went to a hundred. So I think this having goes to 100,000 will be the fair value. So fair value will accrete from 555K today to by the having next April, May, call it June. So let's call it middle of summer next year. $100,000 will be fair value. But we won't go to 100,000. We will get to 100,000 
and then we'll have speculation. Now, how much speculation? Depends on the approval and the timing of the approval and where we are in the adoption cycle and how much of that 300 billion is coming in. It depends on um, the uh, amount of leverage that allows people to increase their, their, their buying power. And I think the leverage will be lower this time. Um, and so let's say we blow through that 100K and, and we're at 150K. That seems reasonable to me. So somewhere between 100 and 150K. As Mark Yusko indicated, he believes BlackRock will be the first Bitcoin spot ETF that will be approved in the United States and not Katie Wood's ARK. Additionally, he believes that Bitcoin having is a way bigger catalyst than Bitcoin spot ETF. And he thinks after 2024, Bitcoin having sometimes in summer, BTC will reach fair value of $100,000. Usually, when market is in euphoria, greed and FOMO state, it literally skyrockets even higher and pushes through the fair value of Bitcoin market. So let's say that fair price is $100,000 and speculated price will be over $150,000. Let me know what you guys think and where do you think BTC will end up by the summer of the next year. Comment below, subscribe and like this video.